Let's go through how to set up your recording so you can start using Swing Vision. To get started, download and launch the Swing Vision app. Make sure that you're in the Record tab where your screen looks like this. To get going, first select the sport that you're going to be playing. You can do this by tapping the icon in the top left of your screen here, where you can switch between tennis and pickleball. Once you've selected your sport, go ahead and select the session type you're going to be playing. If your session type is rally or match, remember to specify if you're playing singles or doubles. You can also tag participating players as well as a coach. This can also be done after a session has ended. If you're going to be playing a match, go to the scoring section. Here, you can choose your game and set preferences, as well as your scoring mode. When you're ready, press start and it's time to mount your device. Regardless of the sport you're playing and the mount that you're using, you can follow the next steps to get going. For the best results, we recommend using our patented fence mount. The swing stick is compact enough to fit in most tennis bags and gives you the best angles of the court. First, attach your phone to the adapter with the screen facing you. Then, tighten the knob on the top to secure. The swing stick also comes with a sunshade which helps protect your phone from overheating. To attach this, slide the bottom of the sunshade into the bottom of the phone adapter. Then tighten the knob underneath to secure. Next, tilt the phone forward until the marking on the right lines up with the bottommost marking on the left. Tighten the knob to secure. Open the flip blocks below the fork to extend the pole. Then, close the flip blocks to secure. To get an even higher viewpoint, open the flip block above the fork to extend the pole upwards. Close the flip block to secure. You can attach the mount in one of three ways. If you're playing outdoors, secure the fork on top of the fence. You can also bend the fork with your hands in case the fence is too thick or too thin. As a backup, you can also attach the swing stick lower to the ground on any diamond using the rear knob. If you're playing indoors, attach by sliding the curtain against the back of the fork. If you own an Apple Watch, open the Swing Vision Watch app and wait for the image of the court to appear. If you don't have an Apple Watch, that's totally okay as we'll explain how to set up without in just a second. For the best footage, we recommend aligning the pink guideline with the near service line. Try not to block the far service line or baseline with the top of the net if possible. You can also adjust the zoom at the top of your watch screen. For optimal accuracy, try to zoom in as close to the court as possible, while keeping all four corners of the court visible. If you're playing pickleball, all you have to do is make sure that the whole court is in view and you're ready to go. Please note that the framing of the court does not have to be perfect, even if your footage is tilted like this. As long as you can see the entire court in view, go ahead and press start and you're all set to play. If you don't have an Apple Watch, make sure Audio Guided is selected in the top right corner. Turn your volume up to 100%, then tap Start. Audio feedback from Siri will let you know if you need to adjust the angle of your phone. Once everything looks good, you'll hear this sound, letting you know that the recording has begun and you're all good to go. We also strongly recommend setting up an automation to put your phone in fitness and low power mode during Swing Vision recordings to prevent interruptions from phone calls and other apps. Watch our video on how to set up an automation for more information. If you run into any other issues while setting up, check out our FAQ in the link below for guidance. That's all, happy hitting.